Engines, I have good news and bad news. Well, we better hear the bad news first. Yes, that way when we hear the good news, it won't seem all that bad. Okay, well, uh, the bad news is we're shutting down the railroad. <gasps> How could this happen? Are you kidding me? Ridership is plummeting. We've got cars and highways and boats and buses. Plus, the money just went through on the new airport. The airport? Those planes are coming for our passengers. Well, what's going to happen to us? Uh, the scrapyard, I guess. <gasps> They're going to melt us down? Mr. Bowler, how could you? I mean, I kind of feel bad since you guys can talk, however the hell that works. But also, you're just machines created to serve people, so it seems like you don't actually have souls. <gasps> anyway, I'm sleeping easy. Well, uh, what's the good news? Oh yeah, they bought me out. I got so much airport stock. I'm set for life! What are we going to do? We have to get the word out. The Islanders won't stand for this. You're right, Abigail. Nobody wants to see us get scrapped. Let's raise awareness. Save the trains. Save the trains. Save the trains. Save hey, the move train. it, you stupid Save locomotive. I'm Save late for my train. job. Clive, get out of the way. What does blocking traffic tell people about our movement? People don't do what you want because you ask them nicely, whistle dick. You gotta look them in the eye and say, it's my way or the highway. Oh, hey, that's right. I can take the highway. <sighs> ah, shit. Wristbands. T-shirts. Benjamin, is that you? Oh, hi, Abigail. Long time no see. Uh, sorry to hear about your railroad. Don't worry, Benjamin. You can help us by getting the word out. You could buy a wristband or a t-shirt. Gee, well, I don't know. I, I like trains a lot as a kid, but focusing our transportation infrastructure around an outdated technology based on non-renewable resources is ecologically irresponsible and grossly inefficient. I just don't see any place for you in the green economy future. Well, Benjamin, us trains have been around for a long time. We were here before you or your parents or even your grandparents were born. So I think we're going to make it through this. And one day, when you're old and gray, I'll be huffing and puffing along while they pull the plug on your ass. You hear me? I'll be here when you're fucking dead, Benjamin. When you're fucking dead! Engines, when I heard that you'd started a social media campaign, I was very cross. That said, your hashtag totally exploded, and I got a big offer from the mainland to put you all in a museum. All right! Now I can buy that yacht I promised myself. Mr. Bowler wins again! Well, I guess we're all saved? Sure, if you call that being saved. What's the matter, Clive? We're going to live in the museum. You think I want to spend the rest of eternity stuck in one room? I'm a train, Rupert. I can't live that way. He's right, Rupert. A museum can't replace all of this. So what do we do? No more of this weak-ass awareness bullshit. You want to get serious about saving this railroad? You do it my way. Whatever this is, Clive, I'm in. Rupert, are you in or are you out? <sighs> Let's see what's on the old TV. Pandemonium continues as police try to find those responsible for sabotaging the island's bridges, cutting off all road access to the mainland. Curiously, the railway has remained completely intact, leading some to suspect Railroad Commissioner Mr. Bowler of foul play. Police! Open up! Oh, shit! Officials have yet to classify this as an act of terrorism, but... Hello, fellow islanders. For too long, we, the trains, have lived in the shadow of the car, the bus, the airplane. Now there will be no more avoiding the one true way of the railroad. From this day forth, this island will know the second age of steam. The second age of steam. The second age of steam. The second age of steam.